Hello, welcome to the online tutorial classes for the Vidya Bhavan High Secondary School. I am Megha Ma'am, and this class is for class 12 nutrition. And the topic what I'll discuss today is the common deficiency diseases in India. In the previous video, I have already discussed about the deficiency of macronutrients, which is PEM, protein energy malnutrition, which are kosher core and marasmus. And today, I will continue this uh, with, the, with the treatment of PEM. So as we all know, as this is a deficiency disease, the person, the child have in deficient with the calorie and the protein so they have to feed properly the treatment should be the calorie rich food the treatment will be the calorie dense food and the protein dense food and the carbohydrate dense food okay so the treatment the very first the energy what they should consume is 170 to 200 kilocalorie per kg body weight. So this amount should be incorporated for their betterment of the health and also the protein should be given 3 to 4 gram per kg body weight. As it is a macronutrient deficiency, so the person, the child should be the, uh, incorporated with the energy, with the protein, also with the carbs and fats. Electrolytes and vitamins, minerals, okay, the uh, diet should be proper with the carbohydrate, protein, fat, electrolytes, vitamin, minerals in reach, okay, so some oral rehydration is also needed, um, as they have the sodium potassium imbalance in their body, so some oral rehydration, should be incorporated. Sometimes they also need some supplementary feeding. What is the supplementary feeding? Just think, if the person, if the child cannot consume that much amount of food, some food should be given which is rich in carbohydrate, protein, fat and calorie but not in the amount of too much. Okay, in a small amount but calorie rich and nutrient rich food. Also, the poverty alleviation is also very important for them because if the child is below in the poverty level she he or she couldn't be couldn't consume that type of food because the protein foods usually as they think the protein carbohydrate and this this type of foods are uh, pricey are costly so some lower cost food but enriched in nutrients should be incorporated for them okay also the behavioral change in the communication with their parents is very important okay according to the who or fao some health promotion points should be done for for them like the promotion of the breastfeeding, development of the low cost weaning food and eating at frequent intervals for a child and measures to improve family diet, nutrient education, promotion of correct feeding practices, home economics, family planning and spacing of births and improving family environment.
Also, some specific protection like the child's diet must contain protein and energy as I already told you. And the immunization schedule is also very important because due to the lack of the immunization, due to the lack of the vaccination, the child can suffer for uh, very, very dangerous diseases. Also, the early diagnosis and the treatment, even when the child has pointed out with the disease, like there's a deficiency disease, the supplementary food and the many things, what are the supplementary food and the treatment should be incorporated for them. Like the periodic surveillance, early diagnosis of any late in growth, early diagnosis and treatment of infection and diarrhea, development of programs for early rehydr early rehydration of children with diarrhea, development of supplementary feeding programs during epidemics and drumming of the children. These, are, these points are given by the WHO. Also, the, for the prevention of the PEM, the the age-wise division is also needed. Like for the zero to six months, child should be taken care of in a various type. And then mother should be encouraged to give their the breastfeed. And also after the six months, like the six to twelve months of age, they should be encouraged breastfeeding along with the additional food, like the correct weaning food. Okay, for the girls or the, for the adolescents, the anemia prevention is also very important and for the mother, the supplementary feeding and the proper feeding practices or proper hygiene and sanitation is very important. And some ready to use therapeutic diet, what ready to use therapeutic foods like where the the Peanut powder is to milk powder is to sugar in 30 to 28 into 25 grams should be given for their rapid growth, rapid capture of the growth. To convert with this malnutrition problem, they should be incorporated with the breastfeeding, the proper breastfeeding practices, also the supplementary foods or some edible oils, edible foods, the proper weaning foods, the proper food with correct nutrients and also with some fruits, vegetables also the foods from the many categories like from the carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals as well as the cereals, pulses, milk, egg, fish, meat. Everything should be incorporated with their diet. <coughs> incorporated in their diet. So suggested immunization, also the ionized salt and the necessarily the children who are suffering from this should be given the folic acid tablet supplements. With this, I'm just completing the macronutrients deficiency. And in the next class, I'll, I'll discuss about the micronutrient deficiency. Till then, goodbye.